Hi everyone and welcome to today's tutorial video. My name is Ashley Pickin from Club Systems International and today's video is giving you an insight to our new club site builder within Club V1. Let's take a closer look. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is log into Club V1. Once logged in, we can then locate the club site tab along the top. And within this area, you will have all the features that are now available to build your new club website. Along the subheaders, we've got a few different options. We've got site pages, menus, media, domains and settings. So the first thing that I would do is I would upload all the images that you are looking to use on your website. You can use these multiple times on various different pages once they are uploaded to the media bank. So if we hit media, it will then give us the option to upload an image from your computer or from webcam. So I'm going to upload an image from the computer. I would just note that the images do need to be four megabytes or less in order to upload. So you can see that is a nice, clear, high resolution picture um, and it has cropped the full image there. So you can crop it to a smaller size if you wish. But in this scenario, I'm going to use the full width and confirm. So once I have confirmed that, it will then upload that image into my media bank. So you can see it's here now. And that can be used then on any page on the website multiple times. So if we go through to site pages, this is where, where we're going to begin creating the pages for the website. On the left hand side, you can see we've got pre-populated pages such as home, cookies, privacy, terms and conditions. And below that, we have got the custom pages. So this is where the, the pages will be held for you to go in and edit once you've created them. So, for example, if I use the little plus button here and we'll just call this one test. That will then add a new custom page under this header. It does automatically create it as a draft page until you create it as a fully published live page on your site. And to do so under page details, if we use the little edit pencil, we can scroll down and change the status to published and save and you can see that page has now gone live on the website so if we go back to the home page and we're just going to briefly design a home page using the nice features that are now available on club v1 um, and just show you what they look like so we've got page details here so the name of the page obviously we've published it and now this is the blocks that are used to create the content for the page so at the moment there are no blocks in here, so if we use the little plus button, this will then show you the blocks that are available to start creating the content. So if we scroll down, we can start to see we've got text with multiple images, single testimonial, um, we've got the scorecard option which actually pulls through the scorecard details automatically, uh, carousel, We've got hole by hole, we've got embedded web page block and various other features in there um, that are very useful to pull information across from Club V1 um, straight into your website. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to pop in a single image block. So once you've selected the block, to the right hand side then you will see the information that is held within that block. So at the moment this block is hidden, so we're going to go to show. We've got a divider, which is a line underneath each block to sort of separate it. So we're going to leave that as show. Block header. So we're going to say, welcome to Pickin Golf Club. And then subtitle, the heart of golf within Worcestershire. OK, if we scroll down, you've then got an option for enable parallax effect. So I'm going to enable this one. And this is the option now to upload an image. If I click on the plus, this will then bring up the media bank. And you can see there is the image that we uploaded earlier on. So I'm going to add that image. And you can change the height of it. So basically this will just change the shape of the size slightly um, to suit. So I'm going to leave that as full and enable a scroll down. 
So once we're happy with that block, we can then save it. And that block now will appear on the website. So if we just go into domains, I'm going to use the preset domain just to have a look at what it looks like so far. So you can see within picking golf club now, it's pulled through my logo from Club V1. We've got various menus that I've already set up. And the first block that is on the page is a nice high resolution picture with the blurb that I've put over the top. So as we scroll down, you can see all that is there now is the footer. So to add more content in, if we go back to the builder, back into site pages, and on the home page, we can then add another block. So next we're going to add in the course status ticker. So we've got the course status ticker. We're going to click that on show and save. And please note that this will be available to view in the order that the blocks are in on the block menu. So if I want to reorder these, for example, we can click the arrows and simply drag and drop and then save the order. But in this scenario, I'm going to keep the course status underneath. OK. So if we just refresh the domain and scroll down, you can now see we've got the course status ticker below the first block. So just to make it a little bit smarter in this scenario, I'm going to remove the divide line from the block above. So it sits a little tighter together. OK, so you can see now we've got the course status ticker so just below that first block. OK, so we're just going to add one more block to the home page. So for this one, I'm going to add a slider block. And we're going to show this, hide the divider. I won't give this one a block header name. Um, I want to enable it for width and auto play to move through the slides. So first slide, if we add an image, so we're going to go with this one and call it Party Nights. And then going to add a second slide. And add this image, Sunday Carvery. And I'll add one more slide. We're going to call this one Weddings. So we've got three slides set up. So, for example, party nights, if you wanted to link this slide to a particular custom page. So if you set up a page called party nights with a load of information on, you can link this to that page. So in a moment when we view it. So if we refresh the domain. And scroll down, you can now see that block has appeared underneath. So party nights, if you linked it to a page that would come up to click on and then it will take you through for more information. I'm just going to add in a divider. Refresh that. OK, so you can see the divider has just appeared there. So really smart looking home page just by adding a couple of different blocks in there. So if we just go back onto the domain, you can see the menu header that I've got at the top at the moment is a flat tab menu style. So if I wanted to change this, I could go back into Club V1 and go to menus. And on the left hand side, we've got style. So within here, we've got various different navigation menu styles available. Um, if I scroll down, you can see the flat tab is currently selected. So if we change it for side pane. And refresh the domain. You can now see the flat tab has disappeared and the side pane menu header has appeared. Um, so to make it a little bit more independent, you can actually change the colour scheme of the menu header as well. So if we just go back into V1 again and go to settings. So within the settings area, you can choose to display or hide the club crest, the club name. Um, and then you can change the menu background colour and the menu font colour. 
So for example, if we change this to a sort of dark purpley color, we'll leave the font color white, save. And if we refresh the domain, you can then see on the menu that has changed the background color. So I hope this tutorial has been informative and it's given you an insight into the new club site builder within Club V1. Hopefully you can take advantage of the new features and make your club websites look as professional as you can.